ExpressLRS is the buzzword these days in the FPV community. It's a new protocol, open source, that allows you to fly very long range with a very fast response time on your radio. Being the new thing on the market right now, I wanted to review it and therefore I went and I bought one of the first drones buy and fly in the market that has ExpressLRS integrated. This is the Beta FPV HX115. It comes with a all-in-one car that has ExpressLRS integrated. And that's the reason why I thought it was interesting to review this drone. Let's start by seeing what's in the box. Looking at what's inside the box for the drone, we have some propellers. We have a 1S battery with the Beta FPV connector. And then we have the drone itself. It comes in this way. It's a small drone with a all-in-one car, separate VTX. It has this TPU to hold the battery in place, which fits extremely well, to be honest. So it holds the battery there very nicely. Now that we've seen what's in the box, I went and I fly this drone to see what's the out-of-the-box experience. And to be completely honest, I was a little bit disappointed when flying the drone for the first time. Looking at the video here, we can see how much vibration this drone has out of the box. But something good is that I went and I gave my feedback to Beta FPV directly after flying the first two or three batteries. They recognized that the speed of the drone was not the best one, and they gave me another one that they've been working on. The new peeds are much better, and as you can see, the flight experience is much better with this new configuration that I got from Beta FPV. Beta FPV new CLI works pretty well, and I'm going to have a link on the description of the video where you can get this CLI dump and configure your drone if you have one of this one to fly nicely as well. One of the things that I like the most about this drone is how quiet it is. So I'm going to play you a little clip where you can try to hear the motors when the drone is armed before it's flying. As you can see, you can barely hear it. Another cool thing about ExpressLRS, it's the size of the antenna that it's using. I have the 2.4 GHz version here, and if you see, the antenna is pretty small, which fits very nicely on drones like this one, toothpicks or tiny whoops. This drone is being marketed by Beta FPV as a long-range drone, and therefore you see the LR in the name of the drone. So who is this drone made for? This is a small drone using a 1S battery. The 1S LiPo doesn't last more than, maybe in the best case, three minutes. And to have a long range drone that only goes for three minutes, it doesn't make a lot of sense, right? In my opinion, a long range drone has to have two things, beeper and GPS because most probably you're going to drop it somewhere and you need a good beeper in order to find it. And the GPS is going to also help you understand where are you flying and where can it be the drone if you crash or if you just have to land. This drone doesn't have space for those kind of things unless you get very creative and do something else, maybe to attach it with a TPU part or something like that but then you will be adding quite a lot of weight to the drone, which is going to be against what this drone has to do. This drone is being marketed as a long range drone, mainly because it has Express LRS, but at the same time, they don't provide you with the 18650 case to have in the drone. If you want to use it that way, you have to source yourself this 18650 uh, holder and you have to solder or do some kind of connection in order to have it here by your own. So it's a little bit complicated to get there. It might not be the first thing that a, a newcomer to the hobby wants to do. And therefore it's a little bit like Beta FPV is claiming that it's long range, but at the same time, it's not giving you enough resources to actually get this drone to use in long range situations. You can also ask, is it a freestyle drone? And I have to say that I don't think so. Even though you can do something 
when you are flying a 1S drone with this size of propeller it's not really made for freestyling there are much better choices in the same price range that you can use in order to train your freestyle moves so what do you think how do you use this drone have you bought it let me know in the comments what do you think this drone is good for if you have it how are you using it and let me know what do you think beta fpv should be marketing this drone for this is all that i have to say right now about the drone i hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.